Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Rash Balash, and we're on our third chocolate chip cookie recipe. We're trying to find the perfect chocolate chip cookie recipe, and this one has perfect in the title, so it must be perfect. I'm trying to find the perfect groove. Yep, so we're making Tasty's perfect chocolate chip cookies. Who knows if that's actually true? We're about to make them find out straight to the T. We're not messing with the recipe at all. So let's go check out the recipe right now and then come back here. And uh, we haven't done that yet, so we should go do it. All right, we're back. End the goal. Wait, do you let's want be honest. Chocolate chip cookies are always good. But when you have a really, really good one, oh, it's life-changing. We pretty much bought all the chocolate chips in New York City. We baked, we tested, we ate, and now we have the ultimate chocolate chip recipe for you. Nothing's happened yet. We're going to ball out with a few extra flavors, but really all you mm. need for cookies are sugar, flour, fat, eggs, and chocolate. And on our quest oh, to find the best, we're going to test out what all of these ingredients <laughs> do to a cookie and how we can use them. And finally, after all that testing, we came up with our ultimate recipe. Here we go. So we're gonna start by sifting out the flour. So all right. We do all purpose bread and bread flour, flour salt and baking soda purpose. as well. We really liked okay. the chew factor of the salt bread flour with a combination soda. of all purpose to kind of give us best of both worlds. And then we're gonna move on to the butter. There's a list of like That's the one thing I'd say is missing here, some nuts. I love, I love the uh, additional texture that nuts add in. But really this, I mean, I'm excited about this. I. Uh, I know we're both tired right now. It may not show as much, but I don't know. All based, the different recipes, this one I'm I'm very excited about. Based on these comments, I don't really know. I took two hours to make these for my sister, and she told me she liked the cookies, store cookies better. Ow. Um, tasty. We experimented and came up with the best recipe. The comments here. Here's how I changed it to make it better. Reduced by the sugar by at least a third. I can dig that. I can dig that. How much sugar? I mean, here's the question. Do we do the recipe that oh, she did, or do we try to do our own? You know, since everyone in the comments is changing it up, I mean, why can't we? I would say we should do the recipe she has so that we have room to improve. Okay, fine. The first <laughs> round. Otherwise, we're just setting ourselves up for failure and giving 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 someone else the credit. Subway cookies are I odd too. Right, what? You know which cookies are real good? You know which cookies are addictively good? What? Pot belly cookies. All right, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go do it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Oh, whew. man, that was good. All right, are you, all right, are you ready? Cool. We watched it, and first up, Fwad already browned the butter because that part it has to cool down. So we did that first. Now I'm about to cut up our chocolate. We've got eight ounces of chocolate right here that we need to cut up. Getting all our prep work in. Exactly. We have our bread flour, our, uh, oh wait, this is whole wheat flour. Oh, I'll grab the bread flour. All right, we're getting our bread flour. We, we've got our all purpose flour. We have our um, regular granulated, like white sugar or whatever. We have our brown sugar. We have salt, the vanilla the eggs that we're gonna need, the baking powder, and we've got the butter cooling down right now. And of course, we've got our KitchenAid, our trusty KitchenAid. You know, it's basically required in this uh, kitchen. And so first up, I'm gonna cut up this uh, chick, this uh, chocolate. You know this bed? Oh, cool. Someone in chat clipped that. No, don't do that. Um, okay, so now, we have to do our flour mixture. We gotta, gotta get the sifter. And yeah, we'll need a sifter and a bowl. So I'm looking up, so we'll need a cup of bread flour and a cup, three quarters cup of all purpose flour. Wow, look at that little sifter. And then we're also gonna put two teaspoons, two teaspoons of kosher salt. Well, salt It's whatever. So should, I we, don't know. should we put the two teaspoons or should we? Two teaspoons of salt is a lot of salt, man. I'm so conflicted right now on whether to follow the recipe or follow my heart. How much did you put? Now I put a teaspoon, or half a teaspoon. Actually like three quarters Put, of put a little bit more. Oh God! Oh. 
Oh yeah, look at that sift in action. Oh god, I stepped in the salt. Why does flowers smell so good? All right, we've allocated our baking soda, so now we need to put in one teaspoon of it. All right, one teaspoon. All right, so now we have our flour mixture here. We're gonna put this stuff into another bowl and then put the sugar and the butter and the uh, vanilla and espresso powder and the egg and the egg yolk into here. And then we're gonna put all of the uh, flour stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm resifting this. Um, and then we're gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. So we need to put in a cup and a half of sugar in total. We're doing a cup of the brown sugar and a half cup of the granulated or white sugar. I think that's what they call it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, once the butter, the butter is still cooling down, it needs to be like around room temperature yep. essentially. Then we're gonna finally put that in along with all the other stuff. So let's, but let's in the meantime, get this uh, sugar in. And then we need a half cup of the sugar. Okay, so now it says we can add in the two teaspoons of vanilla and the espresso powder. We got our vanilla. How much uh, espresso powder do you need? We will need a teaspoon of espresso powder. All right, there was one teaspoon in this thing, so we can put that in here. Now, we've got another box of it, so let me just grab it from here. We just need one more teaspoon. As for the espresso powder, so we don't have espresso powder, unfortunately. Espresso powder is like dry, uh, dark roasted beans that are then ground into a very fine powder. Instead, what we have is instant coffee. Oh yeah, isn't that the yeah. same thing? Not the same thing. Unfortunately, we don't have espresso powder. Espresso powder is made from, fine, from uh, dark roasted and then finely ground uh, coffee beans. Uh, and then, uh, and it gives you a richer flavor than what we're going to use, which is instant coffee. So instant coffee can be substituted in a pinch. Uh, you may want to add a little bit more. So I'm going to say we go for a teaspoon and a half okay. just to give a little bit more flavor. You may want to even just reach in there and scoop. I already, yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you already measure it up? I oh. did not measure. Do you want to just use this? Yeah. yeah. I tried to be fancy and put a little dish. It didn't. It did nothing to help. Teaspoon, and then a half a teaspoon. All right, so now we have to add in the butter, so hopefully, let's see if it's right. Perfect. Uh, give me a second and I'll bring it out. It's perfect. Wow, this smells really good. Yeah, it actually, it smells like ice cream, like coffee ice cream, Do which you... smells better than it tastes. I'm just gonna pour it in. Yeah, pour it in. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing in here. Let's mix this bad boy up. So now we're gonna put in the egg and the egg yolk. All right, so drop that egg yolk in. Yolk, 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 yolk. She said that having the yolk's gonna make it more fudgy, right? Yeah, like a brownie. Nice. All right, so we uh, have our egg and egg yolk mixed. Now it says to put in a little bit of this at a time while mixing it, so. I'm doing my job so well. Down, up, down. This guy, Goober over here. Uh-huh. So we're gonna keep mixing, lock that in. And then I'm gonna just... There's a bunch of flour and stuff on the sides. You wanna just... Oh. So I just wanna get this stuff in. So now we're gonna put in the chocolate. Mm -hmm. We have been thinking about how we shouldn't have incorporated that flour in. Who was the one mixing? Uh, who was the one who incorporated the one on the edge? It was me. Mm-hmm. just gonna stir this in. This honestly looks like it needs more flour. Yeah. Let's just get some more flour right now. Do it. I'm just gonna stand still so they don't know. I knew it was gonna happen. Alright, so, everything's looking good. We did not add more flour. It looked exactly like the recipe. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to scoop them up, put them into like the little ball forms, and mm -hmm. then put it in the fridge yep. for an hour. God, am I glad we them. had bread flour. Yes, we had bread flour. And we followed it exactly. Yep, yep, I absolutely agree. Yes. So, all right, all right. So Let's we're gonna this. mix. Uh, 
Yeah. But it looks so good. Thought, are we going to cook it all tonight or are we going to let some of it sit overnight? Huh? Like sit overnight? Yeah. We could let it all sit overnight. We don't need to bake it tonight. Maybe we should do that. It's 10 o'clock right now for yeah. reference. We're gonna have to get up early tomorrow though. Energy, energy, energy. What's up everyone? Uh, the cookies are baked. Uh, we baked them for like 12 minutes at 350 degrees. Mm -hmm. and they uh, don't look exactly like the cookies in the video, but they do look pretty good either way. So I'm ready to try one. Yeah, very curious. They do look soft. Let's get that break. Oh yeah, nice. All right, they are really, really dark. There's some other flavor in there this time. Like I'm getting a little bit of a, I don't know if it's the butter, or if it's because we use darker brown sugar this time around. Really rich chocolate flavor. Kind of melts in your mouth. Mm hmm This one's also a bit lighter and fluffier. It's not crispy. It's still like pretty soft, but uh, lighter and fluffier than the other cookies we've made. But I don't think that's exactly how they intended for this to come out. Mm -mm. Overall, the way that these turned out, I don't know. I'm sure it's not exactly like it was. This is probably not at all how they intended for it to turn out, but it's a, it's good. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Um, I would probably do less sugar, uh, less on the butter. Just like I can tell that these cookies are super rich, and for me, it's a little overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Maybe a. Mm, I just do one stick of butter. Mm-hmm. Maybe <clears throat> maybe uh, for a bit more fudginess, like a like another egg or egg yolk. And I, I really do want to try it out with actual bread flour, as opposed to our substitute of just more normal flour. I mean, we use bread flour, right? We use bread flour. We use bread flour. But yeah. They're pretty good. Definitely too sweet. I think two cookies is too much. Mm hmm You feeling kind of sick right now? You generally just look like you want to go back to bed. Yeah, one cookie's perfect. But yeah, um, I think we hit on texture, flavor, health, richness. Yeah. Well, overall, I'd say these are below the Joshua Weissman ones, but above the ones that we made. That's true. I don't even know who the other person that we made. Their yeah, this is this is we're, we're, uh, not as good as our first attempt, but better than our second attempt. Yeah. So I do want to try these again with the right recipe, see how they turn out. Overall, pretty good. We'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, it would go great with milk, coffee, or tea. As would any cookie.